Hello, and welcome to today's edition of Toggle Daily Video Insights. Um, in today's video insight, we're going to take a look at Accenture. Um, this is a company that many of you presumably know. It's a huge U.S. multinational company employing almost 500,000 people, um, and it's in the business of strategy consulting. It's one of those companies that you'll hear in connection with AI, cloud computing, and so on. The interesting thing Toggle highlights today is that analyst expectations for Accenture's EPS, forward-looking EPS, have actually been deteriorating. In other words, revisions have been less positive. And so the analysis here highlights that typically over the nine distinct episodes in the past that this has also happened, the stock price had actually risen. And what you see down below, which is the chart that many of you by now know, is that in fact, Toggle looks for the price of Accenture from here to rise potentially all the way up to 235 if history is any guide to the present. As always, we also analyze a variety of other horizons. And so you can see that actually the strongest horizon here is a one month horizon over which the expected price rise is almost 4% in the range between one and 7%. Um, also perhaps interesting is to see these other occasions when you've had this kind of deterioration in, in analyst revisions. And so you can see here that the, 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 the skew of positive revisions has been this negative quite a few times previously. Anyway, so much on Accenture. One other thing that you might want to pay attention to, and we talk about in our daily brief, is that yesterday the Federal Reserve released its minutes. And one of the things that became obvious is that their outlook, which already was quite dovish, really did rely on another fiscal stimulus package being passed this year. Given that between tweeting back and forth, it seems like President Trump has put um, a stop to all negotiations. The question now becomes, will the Fed feel like they need to turn even more dovish in their future speeches, which obviously is something that equity investors will be keenly paying attention to. Again, thank you for your attention and we'll speak to you again tomorrow.